Welcome back to more Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated, everybody. So, in the last episode, we actually did a pretty good job, did some cleanup and stuff. Um, in this video, we are finally going to head into what um, can be deemed as the harder levels of the game, for sure. Uh, Sand Mountain, uh, we have uh, Rock Bottom, also that one's not too bad, I mean only in a couple little things. And after we have Kelp Forest, the Graveyard, and so on. to enjoy an afternoon of falling down. Squidward, am I glad you're here. I need to borrow your toothbrush again. What? You've used it before? Oh yeah, lots of times. I figured if you didn't know, you wouldn't mind. Fine. What do I care? I'm a wreck anyways. I try and get some exercise to relax from all this robot mess, and now everything is ruined. Because of a toothbrush? No, it's those blasted robots. They've taken over the ski slopes. How can I ski with those ugly things beating everyone up? Listen, SpongeBob, you've got to help me. I'm going to lose my marbles if I don't get some relaxation. I found if you keep your marbles in a bag, they don't get lost as often. In fact, I've got mine right here. It's embroidered with this lovely... Forget the marbles! I've got a better idea. If you get rid of the robots at the bottom of every slope for me, I'll give you one of those golden spatulas. Well, I don't know. It's hard to beat the extreme fun of marbles. Okay, okay, I'll give you one for each slope you clear. Now that's a deal! Alright, so here we are in Sand Mountain. Sand Mountain is basically all just sliding. Uh, that's the majority of what the level actually is going to be about, unfortunately. Um, which means that like, if you actually hate sliding, the sliding mechanic, then that's going to suck for you. Oh my god, what the hell? I don't see these things in here. Yeah, that's going to really suck for you, like a lot. Because that's the majority of the level, unfortunately. Okay, so, well, what the hell? What are you doing over here? Oh shoot, there's like a splash damage thing. Oh no, actually, no, wait, no. what hit me? Oh my god, that thing hit me three times. Oh, it's because there's actually machines up here and I didn't realize this. Okay, fine, fine. Okay, give me all my health back. The heck? Okay. Uh, well, let's take care of... Is it, well, actually, is that all of them? That actually might be all of them. Okay. We're not going to enter any of these right now. Uh, we got to clean up everything out here first. Because I know there's stuff to do. The first one is down here, I believe. Yeah, there should be one here. Yep. Here's a sock. We'll take it. Okay. And then... I mean, I suppose I'll do this. Sure. Even though all these are going to respawn anyway, once I, you know, get back here. This is what, Flounder Hill? We're not doing now. We're, we're doing number one first. We're going to go from easiest to hardest. And my god, are the are the second one and the third one are ridiculous uh, with the timing. You got to be, you got to know the pathway specifically, you know? Yeah, there we go. That's number one up there. I guess that's about it for most of the things in here. Oh, there is this one. This one actually nets us a sock. If we just hit this thing right here. There we go. We got a random sock. Cool. Hey, you. Patrick needs to do laundry. Okay, and I do know that there's actually... So, I need to find a way to get up there. But the thing is, I don't think it's actually as easy as... Well, let's see. Can I stand on these things? Oh, I actually can. Okay, what does this do? Oh, it makes some things for Sandy. Okay. But I, I can't actually switch here. I can only switch in, like, the actual... Like... Sliding puzzle things. How many... Oh my god, I'm gonna spend so much freaking money on this. Oh, whoops. Can I have it? Sure, if you fall down to the bottom of this pit. Isn't there a safer way? It's always safety with you people. Hmm, I suppose you could bungee down. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and pay money to get this hook down here. And all we're gonna do is simply go down there and that's it. That's a really easy golden spatula, that's pretty nice. 
Okay. So good work, buddy of mine. And don't forget to help me out with the chum bucket. Yes, yes, of course. Alright, so that's pretty much it, it for everything here. The only thing left to do would be those things with wait a minute, how the hell do you Wait, what is the point of this? Also, what's up there? Oh, that's just a purple one, okay. So if you take these what? Where does that take me? I have no idea. Whatever, who cares? It doesn't really matter. We are going to go into this first one. This is Guppy Mound, the first of three sliding puzzles. And oh boy, so there's a bunch of socks in the past. You have to do it under a certain time. You have to not fall to your death. It's crazy. It's crazy. Alright, so this one's Guppy Mound. You know what? We'll just skip this little thing here because we're gonna see it. hundred times, usually rolling. Darn kids think it's funny to push me, but if you can beat my time down the hill, I'll give you a golden spatula. Okay, we got 70 seconds to clear this. Yeah, so it actually really is that long. Make sure to always get the box because you're gonna need to get. You know, to come back up here quite a lot, actually, and trust me when I say that, you are going to have to do it. Okay, I think that's pretty much it for this area here. Just get the box. Oh, there's actually this here. I feel like a new sponge. Okay. I don't know if um, I'm not going to take a chance. I think you have to be SpongeBob for this, but uh, hold forward usually almost all the time. Okay, I know that there's going to be a... Oh my yes. god. There's definitely going to be... Oh my... I can't even see, dude. Wow. Okay, I got the sock. I got the sock. That's one sock. I definitely want to hit this. Let's see if I can actually do this in the first try. I really doubt it. Because it's, it's a little crazy. I actually almost crashed it on something. Oh my god. Holy shit, man. This is some ridiculous stuff. Dude, I can't see. I'm down to one hit point, by the way. I'm gonna die. Oh my god, oh my god. Shoot, I missed a sock. I missed a sock. That's okay, though. That's okay. The important thing is to finish fast. Like that, right there. And also, don't die, please. Don't die. Okay, we're just gonna have to uh, come up here. We need a we need a hit point seriously. Oh god! Oh no! Shoot! Yeah, we still only have one hit point. We got to be very careful here because oh my god, if we don't. It's gonna be like very, very bad for us. Okay, we're doing this just to be just to be completely safe. Okay, is that it? Did we do it? Is something up there? No. I just don't want to die. You know, I really don't want to die. But yes, we did miss one sock. That's okay. We're gonna get it again. We got two of the three socks. There are three socks in that in that one. We're gonna hit this. This will go ahead and clear the path right there. Awesome. And here's a golden spatula. You always get a golden spatula just for clearing it. These are the ones that I believe a Squidward was actually talking about. Uh, we're not gonna do that. There's no way. And that's basically it for this place. So we're just gonna do this now. Take it back up to the top and then talk to Mrs. Puff. Congratulations! You pass with flying colors. Okay. Awesome. Good stuff. Good stuff. We will take that, and I guess we're just going to have to do it again. Uh, should I just die now? Oh, we're going to do that. Because I only have one freaking hit point. Um, I'm just going to, I'm just going to die. The thing is, usually it's better to do that because, you know, there's not like a live system in this game. So like, you can just keep dying and dying, and the good thing about dying is that you get a full health. 
you know, just fill up again. Which is pretty awesome. Okay, so now we don't need to worry about rushing. We can just kind of take our time here a little bit, you know. And like, whatever. It's not a big deal. Just don't pull any fails. So if you want to go slower, I didn't really mention this, but if you want to go slower, you do actually have to pull back on the stick. You do have to do that. Um, and if you want to go faster, you put forward on the stick. So that'll come in handy later. And most of the time in these, in this particular level, when it comes to the sand mountain, you're going to want to be holding forward because you want to do these things in very fast time. Uh, but there are a few occasions where, you know, so you don't fall off and die, uh, that you actually have to pull back on the stick. Oh my god, I can't see. I hate when we're going downhill because you can't really see, like, just a lot of things. You really can't see things. Oh my god, I almost... I actually didn't... I was about to say I almost didn't make... I actually did not make it at all. That was a complete fail right there. Because I jumped way too early. But you do at least get a checkpoint. I, I mean, obviously, I, I don't know if I need to mention this, but if you fall, then you're, you're screwed for the time. If you're trying to make the time limit thing, you know? So you have to basically not fall at all. Here we gotta turn really tight. There's a sock. So that's all the socks for Guppy Man, which is the first of, you know, three different... Three different slides. But that is by far the easiest one. Okay, so we can get out of here now. We are completely done in this area. Okay, so as you can see, everything responds. That's why I was like, there's no point in even like, you know, killing everything because like, who cares? We're at 6356, okay. So we're just gonna go ahead and open this here. Unlock it. And let's take on this second one. Oh boy. Oh boy. This one's Flounder Hill. And float like a sea bee. If you can beat my time down the hill, I'll give you a golden spatula. Okay, so this one you get 110 seconds. I'm not even kidding you. There's also a bonus thing in this one where it involves defeating the... Or not defeating. Attacking the eight Sandman. I think they're called Sand. I was going to say Snowman, but they're actually Sandman. Um, okay. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and do it. Here we go. As always, hold forward, but there is a secret to this one. Let me actually tell you. So right here, jump in the middle of these two signs. And this will actually take you to a little secret passage. That does actually save you a little bit of time. But even more importantly, there's a snowman in there that's going to be very useful for, um, you know, getting, well, there's like a root, uh, there's something in this, you know, in this level, obviously, with the eight snowmen, or, I keep saying snowmen, but they're freaking sandman, okay, like, what the hell. Okay, here, just gotta be a little careful, okay, so right here, what you actually want to do is jump on this side to avoid the slope. It saves you a lot of time. That's like a good, I don't know, five plus seconds-ish around there. And you do actually need that. Because you'll see this one, you can act, you're actually going to make it like very, very tight in time. So you have to be very careful about this. Especially if you don't take any of these shortcuts. I'm not even sure if you can do it if you take none of the shortcuts. Like, that's actually a little crazy, you know? So yes, obviously you can see that there's a bunch of Sandman around here, there's eight in total like I keep saying. And I will be talking about the, all this in just a little bit, but the important thing right now is to actually just clear the freaking level first. And I'll get that one at least. This is three out of eight so far, that's not bad at all. Okay. We should have this, we should definitely have this down. Um, it's not too crazy I would say. Here you can take either up or down, it doesn't really matter. Um, like which one do you do? Okay, I can't actually see. Oh my god, dude. Fresh like a spring breeze. And this is basically right here. So look how much time I had left. This is about nine seconds left with doing all the shortcuts and basically holding the stick forward the entire time. So if you don't play like that, you will easily lose nine plus seconds to the point where you didn't complete it. And you have to redo it again. Which really sucks, obviously. one, and the second one up there. Okay. 
And at both, I hit both of the switches. Breaks the wall and somehow the machine is now gone. <laughs> that cutscene really made the machine disappear. Okay. I don't think there's anything else in here. There's a tartar sauce guy here. I don't really think I'm going to fight him though. Well, you know what? Whatever. We'll do it. Sure. And here's another golden spatula. Awesome. Okay. And I think that's actually it. We're just going to take the box because we do have to go for the snowman. So... Hopefully I remember this. SpongeBob, you beat my best time. Here's a spatula. The really shitty thing about this is that you actually do have to hit all the snowmen without falling once. If you fall even once, all the snowmen actually reset, which is so stupid. It is so stupid. Um, I suppose. Actually, do I do I even need to do that? I guess I will. We can do it. Sandy's uh, with Sandy. It'll be a little bit easier. Because she can actually, um, like if you go off course, you can at least glide back a little bit. And it really can save you a little bit of... In, in rare situations, it'll help you. Let's just say that, okay? Okay, there's a snowman right here. Let's see if I remember all the locations of these. That's number five. We're missing only three. I do know one right off the bat. Shoot. Oh, God. Yeah, so I do know one of them. I just need to not fall and I'll be fine. Yeah, like right here. See, you can always do this if you know if you want to be completely safe. Okay, we're gonna take the path on the left, because the path on the left. When without falling down there into the shortcut that I was talking about, you actually wanna take it. Because this leads to a snowman. Or a sandman. God damn it, I keep saying snowman. Okay, whatever. Okay. I'm trying to think. Of, I know where one of them is, and I think I have to redo it again. But where's that last one? I'm actually not sure. Just be very careful. There's one about right here if you ended up missing one. Oh, sorry, be beyond these things here. Oh god. Yeah, watch out for the timing. They're right here. There's one right here which I already got. I think it's gonna be somewhere over here at the end then. I mean, I cut through the middle last time. The, the middle bottom. See, I really don't remember this snowman. Unless it actually is over here? Oh, I know it's somewhere in one of these freaking pathways. I just don't remember specifically where it can be. I'm just going to take the hit here. I'm not going to take any chances. Damn it, I hit them both. You know what? It might be on the left side now that I think about it. Either way, I have to replay it one more time because, you know... Because there's so many times where you have to keep replaying it over and over again. Like, it's kind of crazy. Alright, so I'm up to, uh, six. Six out of eight. Um, let's go ahead and take this underwear here. We're going to need as many hit points as possible. I mean, the good thing is that they're not respawning the explosive things. They don't respawn. So that's good. That way you don't have to worry about them every single time. Now, if you die, if you fall off, then yes, they will all respawn. So, damn, I always get hit by that one. The timing there is a little awkward. But at least there's some underwear, so there we go. Yeah, I just make sure to do that, just to be completely safe, you know? Okay, we're going to take the pathway on the right this time. Because one of the snowmen is over here. This is the one, one of the ones that I keep talking about. I actually see it right there. Okay, just be very careful here. You don't need to go too fast. Here it is. There's another one. Okay, that's number seven. Okay, so here in this final area, what you want to do actually is take the pathway specifically on the uh, left side. Because this one will actually take you right over into... Oh my god. 
You do have to be very careful here, though. With Jesus, there's a lot of freaking shit everywhere. But yes, that is actually all of them. All eight. Snowman. Sandman. God damn it. And by doing that, the sock will actually be right here in front of you. And that's what that is. Awesome, awesome. Oh man, this is, this level's a uh, this level's a little intense, I will say. Jeez, that's crazy. Okay, and the very last one is in this intersection again. What you want to do is actually stare right there in the middle, and you, and you actually want to come up here again and go all the way through. This actually helps with Sandy a lot more, if I'm being honest. And then there's your sock. Because with Sandy, you actually have enough distance to cover the second uh, jump from a red pipe into the next one. So, that's why I think it's actually easier to do that. Anyway, we're actually done here in the second uh, second of three. That's 100% uh, for that one. So now we just have the third one. And the third one is probably even crazier. Although, I, I don't know if it's even a lot crazier in the second one. Because people say the second and third one are hard in the first one by far, which is true. But like, and there's also not a huge difficulty spike between the second and third one, but it is from the first and the second and third one, if that makes sense. So, I don't know, we'll see. I thought that thing was actually gonna kill itself. All right, so let's make our way over, over there. I mean, we can switch back to SpongeBob once we're over there. That's fine. Here we go. So here's Sam Mountain. Just gonna go hey, ahead and skip this. Sandy. Howdy, Larry. Okay, I think we actually have to change the SpongeBob. The game wants us to do that. And then we approach Larry here. Fastest there is. My time down this slope is unbeatable. I'll give you a golden spatula if you can beat my time. For this one, you get 120 seconds, so it's slightly longer. Than the bubble body one, only by 10 seconds though, on average. So. Oh, okay, just blowing all that up right now. There we go. I think we're good. Box activated. Let's get in the mindset. Alright, let's do this. This one's actually gonna be pretty freaking tricky, but here we go. What we're basically gonna do here is jump on this. This will take us into this little secret pathway over here. Simply making it to the end in this section will take us over to a sock. Pretty nice. Pretty nice for sure. Okay. What the hell? I almost didn't move forward. I don't know what was that all about. All right, so that's one sock. So there's three socks in here. Uh, one of them we are not going to get right now. Uh, we're going to have to do re redo this slide as Sandy. Uh, here's the second one. I almost did not. What the freaking hell? That was so weird. Okay, y'all maybe saw a hook right there. That's the hook we need to take as Sandy. But again, that only is um, once we actually do this for the first time. So we're going to go ahead and push that. And then this is going to make a secret passageway appear right here. All we got to do here is take this slope all the way down. And I believe... Oh, there's a sock right there. Hey, you. Patrick needs to do laundry. Now, what's interesting is you can actually jump off one of the signs up there at the top. I but I couldn't do that because I needed to get the sock. If you do that, it saves you about five seconds or so, which is really important. So hopefully I can still do this like this. Um, I mean, I feel like I should be able to. We'll see. We will see. I'm gonna take the left here. And I'm gonna jump up. Oh my god, I did not mean to do that. Shit. Whatever. It's, it's not a big deal with that right there. It's really not. Um, I almost freaking fell right there too. It should be fine. It should be okay, I think. We're almost there at the end. So if we just keep moving forward, I feel like we should be okay. Oh god, actually I'm not sure if we're going to do this. We have to do that right there to save us a little bit of time. Yeah, we, we don't. We did. Okay. Perfect. Dude, I almost jumped over this thing. Are you serious? That would have been so stupid, man. Okay, we're going to hit that. And we're going to hit that. That's going to go ahead and make both of them. Uh, be press, and then, yep. Gives us access. Like Alright. 
And then here's a golden spatula. We'll go ahead and take this, of course. Pretty nice. What else is over here? Anything? Just a box. Okay, we're gonna take this box. We are gonna take our golden spatula first. SpongeBob, you beat my best time. Here's a spatula. Thank you, Larry. There we go. Okay. Do we need this? No. Uh, we are gonna switch to Sandy now. All right, and now we're just gonna go ahead and move forward here. Um, I suppose I'll take the regular pathways just so I can show you how the regular pathway looks. As you can see, this involves a huge loop right here, which wastes a lot of time, at least five or six seconds. Um, and in the end, it's not good. I think you'll be getting around here if you take an upper path. So you'll be about five or so seconds ahead if you take the springboard. The second springboard is actually not too far from the first. I think I believe it's right here. Yeah, right there. Okay, right there. We're gonna do that. What, dude? I told you to press it. What was that? Okay, I better have checkpointed. I swear to God, I don't want to redo all this all over again. Please. Please, game, you gotta help me out here. God damn it. Fine, if you wanna be a dick about it, sure. Okay, well, now to speed things up, I'll take this shortcut pathway, you know? Sure, why not? Alright, let's try this again. We're not putting any fails. I thought I pressed a freaking button, but apparently not. Right over here. If we fail again, I'm cutting. I'm just telling you right now. Shoot. Oh, you can also just do it like that, I suppose. You stand on this thing. And then... Wait a minute. Am I supposed to just make it like that? I thought there were going to be more. Alright. Oh, no. Yeah, I guess we do have to just jump like that, huh? Okay. There we go. Oh shoot, totally fail right there. Okay, how is this level looking? What the hell is this? Defeat the robots on Guppy Mound, defeat the robots on Flounder Hill, defeat the robots. So I did all those. I guess there is one. Oh yeah, dude, I'm such a freaking idiot. I know what to do. We gotta make it out of here first. But we do have to go back and sand. So that's what—that's the whole purpose of Sandy, because I think there's actually a spatula up at the very top in that house place that I just never even saw. I don't know how I didn't see that, but I totally didn't. Now we're gonna take this other alternative pathway, which is much deadlier. See, you would be skipping all this crap over here, like all this shit. It's crazy how different it actually ends up being. Oh god. Okay, now here you have to be careful because it is going to make some things fall right here. Oh my god. Look at that. You have to go through all this. And then eventually, I think it splits off around here somewhere? I think it's around here. It's when it finally goes back to the normal pathway. So you avoid all that stuff with those annoying sandballs that are coming, you know? Yeah, it would be right here. And you can take this thing. You can actually take this little shortcut right here if you really wanted to. It saves about only two seconds though, so it's not that big a deal. Then you can jump from here to go straight forward to save another second or so. There's a lot of little shortcuts, as long as you just know which ones are, I guess, most ideal, you know? Whoa, 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 what the hell was that? That's okay, I checkpointed. She didn't jump. She, dude, I, I think I hit so many things that the game like lagged there for a sec with like the frame rate you saw. And I guess when I pressed the button, the game didn't register the jump. <laughs> that has actually happened before in other, in other areas in this game. Like, it's kind of weird. But like, sometimes there's just too much for the game, you know, and I just can't handle it. And so then when you press a button, like, the game is, like, lagging during that time, so it doesn't take the input. 
that you press. It's kind of weird. There we go. It worked that time. See? Oh my god, man. I'm over here pulling some massive fails. Jeez, I almost died right there. Alright. And so now we're just going to move all the way back to the beginning because there is that left. But we have all the socks and we have the 8 Sandman, which equals one sock, obviously. But yeah, other than that, we're pretty much done once we just get this final spatula here. So in terms of how to actually get up there, I think you can just jump on some stuff yeah, right here. I don't think I can make it like, can I make it like that? Damn it, I didn't make it. See, it is right there though, it is right there. Um, oh, I see. That's for messing with Texas. So that's the one you would actually Someone do. better make good use of all these. And then you get up here. And there we go. And so with that, we are actually done here with Sand Mountain. You can take a look. It's 100%. So next up, we're going to want to go probably to either Rock Bottom. Or we're going to take on the Flying Dutchman's Graveyard. That's actually probably not a bad idea. Uh, either way, we'll go somewhere like... We'll go here. Okay. So the recording is up to 47 minutes, but I know I've cut a fair amount. So we may be able to do a little bit more. I'm not really sure how much time we are at for this video. I don't think I've... I don't know. I've cut like an incredibly long amount. Maybe I'll just go inside the next level and that's going to be it, you know? Possibly. Once the game finishes loading. Thank you. I guess there's rock bottom. Do I want to do rock bottom right now? If I'm being honest, not really. Um, I think I'd rather come like over here. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. I think I'm just going to go um, to the Flying Dutchman's Graver. I do want to avoid the freaking Kelp Forest right now because I'm not ready for that. Right now that level is a little too insane if you ask me. Little too insane. Okay, so we'll just go... Actually, wait, do we even have enough? Shit, I don't have enough. Fine, you know what? We're going to do Spongebob's Dream then. This is a level where you don't actually have to pay anything. Um, just, yeah, SpongeBob has feeling sleepy. Goes to sleep and it's actually another level in its own. Like that's, that's crazy, right? This level is actually pretty fun. It is a lot of sliding as well. I don't know why in, in the end of the game they were putting a bunch of sliding stuff. But there are several sliding things in here. And you'll see. With you will see. Comes dreams. What mischief can be found in this subaquatic somnambulant realm? Dream bubbles. I'm surrounded by dream bubbles. I wonder what that means. Gary, what are you doing here? Wow. Oh, so I'm dreaming. Well, then first thing I'm gonna do is dream myself up a mustache. Wow. Thanks, Gary. It does make me look more rugged, doesn't it? Wow. More tasks? Well, I could use more golden spatulas, but where should I start? Meow. You mean each dream bubble has a golden spatula in it? Meow. I'm ready! Meow. Yes, Gary, I'll be careful. Alright, this is SpongeBob's dream, like I was saying. So you start with SpongeBob's house, but this one just takes you back to a bikini bottom, so you definitely don't want to do that. Um, but let's go ahead and I, I guess we can just presents. do this one freaking annoying spatula here. Um, so there actually is a very annoying one. We got we got to do it. That's not good. Okay, we'll go ahead and do that and jump up like this. And we'll jump up some more and then this one's going to come up to the top. Oh my freaking god, dude. That is so cheap. That is so cheap. I didn't even see that. Okay. Those are new robots. Um, they're some of the worst robots in the game to face. They're so annoying. So freaking annoying. Um, they have a shield, I believe, and it's it just makes it so much worse. Like, so much worse. Because that means that they actually end up taking two hits. So if the robot is too far, 
it will actually generate its shield before your next homing rocket can get in there. Okay, luckily it wasn't too far. But, oh god damn it. Now we can't make that jump though. But yeah, this is definitely annoying. There's a spatula up there. And I'm just going to tell you right now, it's a real bitch to get. I'm not even kidding you. There's a lot of people that actually complain online about this and thought that they're that their version of the game was like glitched up and I think there actually was some kind of glitch in the beginning some kind of like patch that they had to make because Spongebob didn't have enough height or leverage to actually uh, get on like get enough height on there if that makes sense we're just gonna make it all the way through okay so basically what you do here is you use this there's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning to hit this, but then what you have to actually do here, you have to jump here. There we go. I, I only did it the first time because I actually practiced a lot about how to do that. Um, otherwise, it's not easy, but you have to do it here when you're at this height, not any lower, or else SpongeBob will not be able to get enough height to do it. Um, Okay, so I think I'll just, uh, well, we'll head on down. Sure. There's a thing over there that we'll have to do, of course, in just a little bit. But other than that, though, I'm going to actually end this video right here. Um, I guess I should show you the collectibles for this level, though. Uh, so that's how this level looks. Five socks, and then the eight spatulas, of course. So, all right. So before I end this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the you video. Wow. The I will see you all later. Bye bye everyone. Have a great day as I kill these enemies. I think we're good.